What's going on guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to do a really quick video showing you how to remove the D1S by Xenon HID style bulbs off your W204. Now this also applies to other Mercedes Benz. If you have by Xenon bulbs, then this would be the procedure on how to remove them. Now I wanted to do a video specifically because I've seen other videos, but they only remove one side and most likely they're removing the easiest side, which is the right hand side. Now you have plenty of room to maneuver the light bulb out on the right hand side, but on the left hand side, there isn't much room at all. So I wanted to do this video to show you that even though there isn't much room, you can still remove the headlight bulb without having to remove the actual headlight or the front bar or even the wheel well. Okay, because I have seen that other people have removed the entire front bar even just to get to the bulb or they've removed the wheel well so they can have more access to the bulb as well. But I'm sure I'm going to show you today that you don't have to do any of that. You can simply remove it, remove the bulbs from the headlight, except you just have to take your time, be very cautious and be patient. The main thing here is to be patient. And with patience, you can get any job done. I've always stressed that in my videos. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you just how to remove this light bulb. Okay, now this is the right side. So as you can see, there is plenty of room for you to maneuver it out and around. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to push this uh, wheel well down a bit and then turn, turn this here. And you quick just turn it counterclockwise and then the cap comes off and then you can barely see from here but what you want to do is push the pins in towards the center and then they will release and then all you have to do is wiggle it out like so now when you pull the bulb out you want to make sure that you're not touching anything else Okay, and there you go. And now, in order to remove this, all you have to do is press on the clip, press it, press, press it together, and then just pull it out. And then that's how you release it. Okay, and to reinstall it, it'll probably be easier to put this cable in first, like so, and press it back in so it clips in. Now when you're reinstalling it you want to make sure that you do not touch anything so be very careful and go very slowly okay so this is why it's important to push down on the wheel well so you have room and then once you have room you put it in slowly and there we go we're inside now perfect there we go, flush. And you want to make sure it's sitting in flush. Make sure the cable connection's in. And then you push the pins back into its uh back into the uh, tabs that came that they came out of. Like so. Okay, so this is the left side. Now as you can see, I've already taken off the cap right there. You can just see the end of the bulb and I've just released one both clips. Okay, now it's the exact same procedure as the right side, except now, as you can see, we don't have much room. So in order to overcome this problem, what I like to do is I like to move this just slightly out of the way. Now, don't bend it too much, just enough so you can get your hand in there and remove it. Okay, if you want, you could actually use a hose tie and just flex it a little bit. Now, the, the most important thing to remember here is not to flex it too much. You just want to flex it enough so that you can get your hand in there and take care of this issue, take care of the problem. Okay, so this is what I've done right now. All I've done is I've lifted it just over my windscreen washer and I've used the cap to hold it in place like so. And now we have a little bit of room. Now I'm going to show you how to remove it. Now, my hands are actually very big. So if you've got smaller hands, this is going to be an easier job for you. So first thing we do, we remove the pins. I'm just going to show you again. So that's one. And 
you push them in and then move it towards the center and then it comes out like so. Now, you want to take the bulb and just wiggle it out. But don't wiggle too hard because you're not, you don't want to touch. If your bulb's already blown, it doesn't really matter how you take it out. But if you're just taking it out to check it, then you want to make sure that you do not touch any other part of the bulb to anything else. Okay, so it's a bit hard for me to get my hand in here, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to cover the camera, but I'm going to do it real slowly so I do not blow the bulb. And there we have it. There we go, guys. Now remember, you do not want to touch the bulb at all. You don't want to touch any part of the bulb. And there you have it. And then you can now just disconnect it, the wiring. Like so. So you want to just hold it like that. And then pull the wiring out. There we go. And now we have the bulb out. As you can see, perfect. Now we're going to put the bulb back in. First things first, I'm going to plug the bulb back in. So, and now we have to maneuver it in slowly. So, I'm going to move the camera for a second, but just show you that it is possible without having to ruin it. Remember not to touch any other part. See where the hole is and slowly go in. You don't want to touch anything. And there we go, we're in. Done. That's it, perfect. Now we just have to put the clips back on. Okay. So you just use my left hand so I can show you. One. And two. And there you go. There you have it, guys. Okay, and now we're just to replace the cap. So you just want to get the cap on there. Perfect. And just turn it. There we go. Now it's locked in. You want to make sure it's turned all the way around so that there's no air leak. The last thing you want is to get moisture in there. And there you go, guys. That's it. By Xenon, low beams replaced. Now we're going to test the light out and make sure that it works. Okay, there you have it guys. They definitely still work. Also, other side. There you have it. That's how easy it is to change the bulbs so that you don't have to worry about removing the front bar or the wheel well or anything like that.